Okay. We are live, I hope, I think. Um, so welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. My name is James, and uh, this is just an impromptu kind of uh, gaming session. Uh, let me just uh, switch over uh, to that and turn down the volume on my voices from the computer. Voices from the computer. Everything good out there? Volumes, you can see the game. Um, can you hear the game? Can you hear that title screen playing right now? Hopefully. Uh, Mr. Echo, hello, welcome to... Too many tabs. Oh. <laughs> You're the problem, Mr. Echo. Um, if uh, it should be working, I'm a bit quiet. Um, okay. I'll turn it up. Check, 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 check. Test, test, test. Ooh, getting into the red there, but uh, hopefully that is better. Uh, tell me if that's better. Because I've been, um, since the last broadcast, which was a travesty, um, I've changed a ton of things. Excellent, that's better. And um, one big problem that happened last time was the camera overheated. Okay, that was the biggest problem, for sure. Um, I fixed that by putting a piece of paper over it, if you can imagine that, uh, because the display is on at all times on the camera, uh, so unless you're looking through the eyepiece. So I put a little piece of pa paper over the eyepiece and that turned off the display, which reduced the heat because now it's not, it doesn't have a display the whole time. So that's issue number one. Issue number two was the microphone. It was terrible. Uh, one of the big reasons it was plugged directly into the computer, which had tons of noise, just massive amounts of noise. So what it is took it out of the uh, microphone input on the computer and routed it through a professional mixing board as it should have been in the first place, then took line out from the mixing board into the computer which is better. Let me just get this microphone in a little bit closer to me and that should pick me up a little bit better. Oh no. Is it a camera from the 2000s? No, it's actually a really new camera, but it's not meant to do HDMI out properly. Um, another thing was I had three video inputs going. One was the video game. One was this camera and another one was a webcam and they're all going through USB and my computer's a little bit old and they're all interfering with each other. So, uh, Mr. Echo, can you tell me if this is on time, in sync? Am I speaking in sync? Clapping in sync, the sound? Sorry, that might've been a bit loud. Um, the sync was going out, probably because of the overheating issue. And now another over overheating issue was that I had equipment stacked on top of each other. Um, one of my video capture devices was, my Frame Meister was, it's about 50 to 100 milliseconds out? God damn it. Okay. Oh, and I didn't even record it locally. Let me start it recording locally. Um, 50 to 100 milliseconds, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. So it's a little off. Let me just turn up the volume on this here. Check, check, check. I can hear myself. I'm gonna do some clapping. Check my... Oh, it is a little off. It's not too bad because it seems to... Sorry about that. It seems to vary between a 1500 millisecond delay and 1750 millisecond delay, which is really, really, really annoying. Um, and I th and the video game is about a thousand millisecond delay off, which seems to be fairly steady. Um, so maybe less than 50 milliseconds. Okay, that's usable. That's not too bad. It is. It is a little bit off. Um, because the camera doesn't carry audio out on its HDMI, which is, which is what I'm using to capture. If I could get the audio 
to go out of the HDMI on the camera, it would always be in sync because that's it would be in sync. So, but right for now, the microphone and the camera are in two different inputs, and the camera is going through a buffered um, capture device, HDMI capture device. So there's always this unknown buffer lag. So it's really, really annoying. But let's get to the game. Uh, let me just turn up the volume here, one second. Just a little bit. There we go. Uh, so we're playing Wall, Num Wall Jump Ninja today from 2014. I have the lava on. It is not on hard mode, it's on easy mode, which is what I was playing before, and I'm pretty sure I got to room 58. And I think I found a strategy to get a little bit higher, but we'll see. So we're good, we've switched over, and too bad HDMI doesn't have the time signals. Ooh, that would be good. But then the program would have to be able to handle time signal like syncs. Um, and a microphone wouldn't have time signal either. But the microphone is instant. Um, but anyway, on to the game. Wall Jump Ninja. Uh, jumping from room to room, avoiding the lava. Okay, let's go. And last time, I got room 58. And that was pretty damn good. And I got to room 58 by not getting the letters until later. So it's actually a good strategy because it gets really hard once you get up high getting the letters. Let me know if the um, volume of the game is too low or too high. So I'm still doing volume levels. I'm really happy about the microphone sound though. That it's not all super hissy. So you have to get... I'm gonna not get that one and I'm going to die. Okay. <laughs> that was terrible. No, no feedback on the levels. On the video game levels. So each room counts. Oh, game sounds are a bit low. Okay, after I die, I'll turn. After I die next, I'll turn them up a little bit. Still trying to figure out what is good, what a good level is. So I can see the levels on OBS. Um, but relatively, it's hard to tell. This game isn't... Okay, I died. This game isn't especially noisy. So I'll turn that up to about halfway. Turn up the microphone input a little bit more. There we go. And let's do it now. Let me know now if the game is loud enough. I mean, there's not much to it. There's just jumping. Now, the killer things in this game are plumb bobs. These are things that go up and down and move. In the first couple levels, it's just spikes, and the spikes don't move on the walls, so they are easily avoidable. Like there, that spike there. And that spike there. Usually comes in twos, and it's clear for a while. Oh, no, threes. Ooh, that was close. I almost jumped into that. So you have to spell out the word ninja, N-I-N-J-A, and that will take you to the warping. But I don't think getting all the letters is a very good strategy. See, I missed the N. I usually miss that N. It's a little bit difficult. Because when you warp, it takes you to a much harder level, but it does put you ahead 10? 10 levels, I think? But you don't want to be there. Well, you do. Because you want to get a high score. And the scores are by room on this game. Oof, that was close. I almost hit the top. And I'm on room 42. And there it is. There's the plumb bob. Oh, God. There we go. Ooh, that was close. Ah! Room 47. Game is much better. Side scroller hell. Yes, it is. You can't stop. There is no stopping in this game. You are well on the easy mode uh, or the lavaless mode. You can stop for a little bit, but you can't turn off. Ugh. Oh, that was close. 
you can't turn off the wall that's coming for you. It'd be kind of neat to have a easy, easy mode where there's no big, huge, uh, deadly wall coming from the left. And no lava. That would make it like kids mode. I'm surprised they didn't put in kids mode. That would have been a really cool addition. Because then there would be not a super pressure to jump. Maybe there's like a, a secret back way to uh, get to kids mode. Because it's just turning off like one thing. I'm sure that's controlled by like... Um, that wall is a... Missile? Oh god, I'm dead again. Oh my god, that was a terrible game. Yeah, place to stand for a bit. Well, when you're a ninja, there is no standing around. You must be on the move, or you'll be found out. Okay, well, let's, let's think about the premise of this game. You're a ninja in a volcano? Like, lava. There's lava and walls. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. How are the walls not being eaten up completely by the lava? And, well, usually video games don't make sense. Old video games don't make sense. New video games, there is at least some consistency. I mean, this is new old. I mean, old because it's on an Atari 2600, but new because it was made um, only four years ago. But um, back when you had limited resources, you kind of just put things in games and hope that it made sense. Oh, I can get that end this time. There we go. As long as I don't get... I should I actually shouldn't get it. I should try and avoid getting the letters as much as possible and see how far I can get. Um, oh yeah, back to game consistency. Okay, you're a ninja <clears throat> in a volcano, or at least in an area where there's a volcano nearby. Can lava exist without a volcano? Or is it like a part of... Oh god. Or is it part of, always part of a volcano? Like, can can lava just be on its own? I, I would think so. It's like just molten earth. Oh no. And I'm dead. Ah! Uh, uh. And there are lasers. Yeah, that's, that's, that tops it off, doesn't it, um, Mr. Echo? Um, this laser thing coming for you. I would think the best explanation for this, for the all these things in the game, is that you're in some guy's evil, uh, some evildoer's lair, <laughs> and they're always in a volcano. You know, they they like to live on the on the edge, and <clears throat> you're trying to escape or get to him. Um, I can't remember what it actually says in the manual. I'll have to look that up again. Um, that you're trying to get to him through all these uh, barriers or trying to escape that he's captured you in. Either way, you know, you start in room one and try and make your way out of the volcano. Um, I guess these walls could be suspended in midair and the laser wall could also be um, from above shooting down at you. Um, and that would kind of make sense, as long as the, uh, lava stayed at a kind of even level and didn't act up like the volcano didn't, uh, start getting, getting active. But, of course, if you have your evil lair, <coughs> your, your, uh, uh, Dr. Evil, in an evil lair, um, you'd have a helicopter to get the hell out of there if, uh, something starts acting up in the volcano. But, I mean, oh god, come on, come on. There we go. Come on. Oh, my God. Okay, another one. Okay. And up and over. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Room 50. Okay, I got a J. Now I have to avoid the A. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, God. You only get really, like, one chance to... Do a proper jump. Okay, 58. I actually want the A, because then I get zoomed ahead and get a super good high score. Oh my god, so tiny. Oh, room 65, new record for me. 
but there's kind of mini volcanoes. Yeah, the ocean ridges have lava coming up. Yeah, it's true. But are they near volcanoes? The You know, those... Yeah, I've seen at the bottom of the ocean... Uh, little hot geysers. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to do better than that. I think I'm going to try and avoid the A this time. Oh. My tablet's getting low. That's not good. 5% remaining. So that's what I'm using to monitor the chat. Okay, I'm going to try and avoid the letters this time. Just to see if I can... Well, you get pushed ahead. But it pushed me ahead right to a level where I couldn't even... I couldn't even make it. Even one more past that. So this time... I am going to... Oh, well that's good. We'll avoid the letters. Not touch... Not get all five letters. You can see the bar at the bottom, that yellow bar... Is how many letters you've got collected out of the five. So there we go. Successfully avoiding the I. Now, when you're, if you haven't played this game, when you're jumping, how long you hold down the button is how high you jump. I think I can't avoid that. Oh, I avoided it. Is how high you jump. So when you let go, that's kind of your final height. And he levels out. And the animation is really good, so you can't really tell that that's where the leveling out is. It's kind of a slight delay on the leveling out. Oh, I couldn't avoid that one. But it's very controllable. Oh, God. There we go. Well, somewhat controllable. Oh, I shouldn't have... I knew it. I shouldn't have jumped there. Because they have the, that acceleration. You're a pro at live stuff? No power for a computer? Oh! Ooh, do I have a plug? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, one second. Let me get power for it. I think. I know where there's a USB plug. That's one piece. And I have power over here. And I know I have some power down here, maybe. Bear with me. Oh, that's all too short. Let me try and... One second. Let me try and find a cable. And how's the uh, sink now? Is it straight? Is it still slightly still kind of okay? A little bit off, but slightly okay. There's a printer one. Oh, is that one? No, another printer one. Another HDMI. Oh, a nice long XLR cable, which is what I want. USB-C. That's no good. Ah. I can't find one. Sound is good. Excellent. I can't find one. I'll just play till uh, the tablet runs out, maybe a little bit after. Uh, okay. Let's try this again. Not touching the letters. Avoiding the letters. Because it only puts you ahead 10. Actually, that's not going to help. Because I'm not going to beat 65, because the room at 65 is exactly the same, whether you zoom ahead or not. So as soon as I get to 65, I'm going to die. So either I can hold off until like 64-ish, if there's a letter between then, and try and avoid room 65. Not that it's impossible, it's just like, look at the openings here. They're like, pretty big. And the openings later are like, the height of me. Which is deadly! Deadly! Um, I'm gonna do a broadcast tonight, actually, as well, um, for people watching. Probably at around... 7.30 or... 7 to... 7 to 8 o'clock, somewhere the starting time. Um, Pacific Standard Time. So that would be like... 10 to 11 p.m. Eastern. 
people want to tune in. I'll be uh, playing some puzzly games with, uh, oh god, uh, with Tanya, uh, my wife. Um, first three broadcasts were with uh, Darcy. Um, for all you rant fans, that's Drexall. Um, uh, but Darcy is not able to make it this week. Oh my god, terrible. <laughs> Well, Mr. Echo, you get two people from those days. If you want to look at uh, the archived broadcasts of this show, uh, there are two archived, and I've got another th third one because the audio is terrible on the third one. It's all over the place, and I'm trying to sync it up a little bit. Um, but a third one should be posted uh, tomorrow-ish, hopefully. After I try and sync up as much as possible, I have like a little apology in the beginning of the video because it's it's terrible. And we played some fun games, including this one. And Ang Anguna, which is a RPG for the 2600, uh, which I plan on continuing playing at another time with Darcy because I didn't, there's actual finish, finish to it. I got two out of the six keys um, in, able, in order to finish the game. So we got a little bit far, um, but it, it's an amazing game. Amazing for the 2600, very challenging. Um, if anybody else is uh, out there watching, you can jump in on the chat and say hello, and I can uh, say hello to you. Oh God, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Ugh, battery empty, we'll shut down. Okay, I'm not going to say okay to that. Because that's going to shut down the computer. Or my tablet. And I haven't had lunch anyway, and it's quarter after two. And this was just kind of a tech test. But I did do very well. Oof, almost died there. Ooh, I should, I should actually get that in. And then just try and avoid the last twos just so I can store some up. Yeah, Mr. Echo in the chat is from way back. I've been broadcasting various things for on the internet for 20 years. Does that show my age? <laughs> Pioneers of internet streaming. Um... Actually, the first live video broadcast that I did on the internet was in 2003, if you can imagine that, 15 years ago. Um, probably one of the f one of the earliest. I know there's a lot more earlier because um, they used um, real video, and that did live, um, but that was very expensive. To do real video. There it goes, my tablet. Ah! And there goes me. Room 45. Well, <clears throat> I think that'll be it for this short little broadcast. Um, I didn't do a big announcement. I'll do a big announcement for um, tonight's broadcast um, because we'll be, play be playing three games I haven't played before. And I'm going to review this, um, this film. Make sure everything's in sync. Still. One, two, three. Watch my mouth. One, two, three. Make sure it's in sync, this little test that I'm doing. Um, and hopefully it is, and not too out of sync. Um, it seems to vary about 250 milliseconds, one way or the other, depending on the sync. Um, I did a long test, an hour and a half local test last night. It seemed to be okay. Don't know what games we'll be playing. Um, Assembloids for sure. Um... I don't know what else. I, can't, I, I, I announced them last time. Stratagems Deluxe, for sure. Um, so those two, and I'll pick a third game to play. Um, so join us tonight um, around 7 or 8. I'll announce it in the Facebook uh, page and also on Steam. So if you want to get alerted, make sure you subscribe to steam is that what you do to steam you like steam you subscribe steam to my channel uh zero page homebrew um also uh 
Twitter or Instagram, and uh, then it'll you'll be alerted. And thank you for joining me for this uh, impromptu middle of the day broadcast. And uh, hopefully you'll join us as well uh, for tonight's broadcast. And it'll be a lot longer, about two two hours, and we'll play through three games. And I'll be bo joined by somebody else, my wife Tanya. So, Arrivederci, see you later. Bye-bye, thanks. <laughs>